Hi everyone, this is Dave and welcome to an unboxing and first look video of the DJI Osmo camera. Now the reason I didn't get this when it was first released is because it was a first gen product. And more often than not with first gen products you get some sort of teething problems and you do experience some issues. And the Osmo was not immune to this. In fact, it's had many firmware upgrades and I now think it's ready for me to introduce into my video workflow. So I've got the Osmo to unbox for you today. I've also got some accessories and they include a Rode Video Micro, uh, an arm, extension arm for the Osmo. We've also got a battery and some other little accessories I thought might come in handy, including the all important memory card. So let's switch camera angles and have a first look for me at the DJI Osmo. Okay, so here we go. Here are all of the accessories and of course the DJI Osmo to unbox. I'm gonna start with the accessories. Now this first one I got because the DJI branded battery was out of stock. So I definitely wanted a spare battery. This looked exactly the same and had the same rating. It's by Smartree and here we go. This is the spare battery that I got for the Osmo and I think it looks every bit as good. It's still a 980 milliamp hour 10.8 watt hour battery and it should charge up in the original DJI charger. So let's pop that to one side. Next up, this may or may not come in handy. I'm not sure at the moment. It will definitely come in handy for my regular videos. Whether or not I use it with the Osmo is another question. But this is a Joby hub adapter. And the reason I got this is because with something like the Osmo, you're gonna probably add on some accessories. This could possibly screw into one of the mounts. And then I've got some extra mounts around the side for doing things like video lights, etc. Little turny piece here to turn the threaded part on this end. And I just think it's a very handy adapter. Now, if I didn't get this, I would have probably regretted it because these are very, very useful. And if I don't use it with the Osmo, then I'll use it with something else. So uh, we'll see if this comes into use in the future. Now, obviously I needed a memory card. I did a little bit of research on memory cards and went with the Samsung Pro. So this has got a good turn of speed comes in Amazon's frustration free packaging. This is what it looks like. I went with a 64 gigabyte capacity. The Osmo only takes up to 64 gigabytes, so I couldn't have got 128 anyway, but I'd rather have a few 64s rather than one big 128 gigabyte card. Here we've got another accessory, as it says here, accessories for Osmo. And let's get this unboxed. Now again, I got this uh, third party accessory purely because the DJI branded one was out of stock. And this is the straight extension arm. Now the reason I wanted one of these is because it's gonna allow me to reposition the um, smartphone I'm using as the monitor for the Osmo and I can reposition it in a more sort of central location. And it's still metal still got all of the teeth around it and this looks very well manufactured we've also got a longer threaded sort of bolt as well in the pack and as i say this is just going to come in very handy for repositioning the monitor around into a central location on the osmo so i'm not sure how it compares with the original but it looks very very good indeed and then another accessory i got was one of these as you know, I love Rode. Uh, disclaimer, Rode are a sponsor of the channel. I did buy this as a spare one. I've already got one of these. This is the Rode Video Micro, and these are just very, very useful. Now, I've heard that the microphone on the Osmo is very poor, so I definitely needed an external microphone. I needed something small that wasn't gonna be visible, sort of in frame when I'm recording, and this is ideal. This is gonna mount onto the Osmo. I've also got another accessory coming so that I can mount this a lot easier. So this is the Rode Video Micro. It comes with a sort of fluffy wind cheater in there as well, and also the mount. Now, the, the other accessory I've got coming is a multi-shoe mount, so I can mount this onto the Osmo as well. 
Look at all this fluff that's come off. Yeah. Right, let's pop all of these accessories to one side and we'll have a look at the Osmo. So here we go. This is the Osmo packaging. And let's undo this at this end. And we've got some accessories and we can just pull all of this out. There we go, wow. So we have got accessory boxes, the main case, which has got the camera in. Let's have a look in these accessory boxes first. So this one here has got a little turny screw piece, a European cable, a strap for the case, so that's nice. We've got another accessory box here, and inside here we have got the charger, uh, figure eight adapter here. Doesn't look like we've got a UK cable with it, which is a little bit annoying, but I've got plenty of those anyway, so not to worry. And then we've got the original battery. So this is the original battery. We've got a little piece of plastic over the contacts. Let's just compare that to the third party battery that I got in. They look identical, obviously. So this should work absolutely fine. This feels like it's just a little bit higher grade plastic. But anyway, this is the original battery. It's still a 980 milliamp hour battery, the original DJI manufacturer. And then we have got a little accessory pouch here. And this has just got some information about what is inside and also some instructions and safety guidelines. So that's all of the various bits and pieces. Now we should also get some other accessories inside here. Oh, missed that. We've got a little wrist strap, very cool. So let's move all that out to one side and have a look inside this cool little guitar shaped case and we shall see what we've got inside. It goes this way up, ah, the zip goes all the way around the back and there we go. Wow, this is the DJI Osmo, very, very excited. Now, as I said in the introduction to this video, I didn't get this when it was first released because there was some problems with it and I waited and it feels very well made. Awesome, very, very nice indeed. Now I'm not gonna force anything to come down, but obviously this is the smartphone holder. And it tightens onto there. We've got the joystick control for the camera just here. We've got the record button. Another button there. We've got a release button to release the sort of head off of the top. We've got the trigger, which allows us to front face the camera or put it into selfie mode and also lock the orientation. We've got the microphone input there, the little tiny built-in microphone. Smartphone holder on the side, where you can. this is where you can attach all of those accessories as well. And then of course we've got the camera itself with the little charging socket, not charging socket, the little connection socket here, micro USB to actually do firmware updates on the camera. Various locking pieces here. Let's take this front lens cap off. And there is the front lens. I'm assuming that this is the uh, UV protector on the front. So I didn't see that loose in the box anywhere, but that is what it looks like. The fan on the side, apparently with the new firmware update, doesn't come on all the time and memory card goes in under here, just under here, and then the battery goes in the bottom of the handle. It all feels very, very well made, a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna feel, but with all intents and purposes, I am very, very pleased with that. Very, very excited to actually test this and obviously produce some videos for you captured with the DJI Osmo. So that's it for this unboxing and first look. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe and I'll see you all in another video very soon.